Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, a senior security architect at Microsoft, and I want to talk to you about going passwordless and how to use the Microsoft Authenticator app as a login method. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This feature is a preview feature. It's in beta, so please proceed at your own risk as it's still under development. You can learn more about what preview means by going to the link here at the bottom of the slide. There are some prerequisites to this before we get started. That is making sure that Azure multi-factor authentication is enabled and using the latest version of the Microsoft Authenticator app is already installed on that user's device and combined registration is also enabled. If you go to the link at the bottom of the slide here, you can learn more about what the prerequisites are. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into a demo and let's take a look at how to set this up and what the end user experience looks like. Okay, here we are on the right side of the screen in my Azure Active Directory Administrator portal, and on the left side is my iPad. We'll come back to the iPad in just a moment. To get this set up on the Administrator portal, I'm gonna to go to the Azure Active Directory blade and click on Security. And then from there, I'm gonna click on Authentication Methods. Now, in my other videos, I've talked about how to enable the FIDO2 security key and using text messages as a uh, factor of authentication. Now we're gonna look at how to use the Microsoft Authenticator app for using this to be passwordless and, a, and another form of authentication. So I'm gonna enable this and I'm gonna choose the users I want this to apply to. Now, this is my lab. If this was production, I probably would use a dynamic security group uh, keying off of some sort of attribute in directory. Once I have those users enabled for the Microsoft Authenticator passwordless sign-in feature, I'm also gonna come up here and click on enable users for combine, combined security information registration experience. And I'm gonna make sure that they're enabled for this preview program. Users can use the combined security information registration experience. Now, once that's done, I'm now ready to uh, go ahead and, and use this as a method to sign in. So over on the left side of the screen here on my iPad, I've already downloaded the Authenticator app and I've already added it as a form of, uh, of a second factor of, of authentication for my identity. So here you can see meganbeatsosman.org, it's already been added because I'm using it for MFA right now. Now when I click on that, notice here it says enable phone sign-in. So we're gonna tap on that and this is gonna walk me through making sure that um, that this gets enabled. Now this does require the device to be registered, not managed, but registered by Intune or by Azure Active Directory, and that's covered in the documentation, and that a passcode is set on the device. So I've set, uh, I've satisfied both of those. I'm gonna click on continue. And then from here, it's going to just make sure it really is me. So I'm gonna type in my top secret password here and we're gonna authenticate. There's a push notification. So we're gonna tap on approve and uh, satisfy that MFA challenge there. And then it's gonna get me signed back into the Authenticator app and it's gonna complete the sign in with your phone enrollment. So now if I retap on the user's identity, you could see disable phone sign in is now there. So now we're ready to start using this. Okay, so let's go back to the home screen and over on the right side, let's open up a new in private window and let's browse out to, let's say Office 365. So let's go to portal.office.com. And under uh, sign in here, I'm gonna choose Megan B at sosman.org. And then there it is. So over on the left side, you can see new sign in request for your work or school account. And uh, I'm gonna tap on that and we're gonna choose approve. And then we're gonna match the numbers up. So 53 on the right, 53 on the left, looks good. We're gonna tap 53. I'm gonna to do touch ID to make sure it really is me. And then on the right side, boom, I'm signed in and away we go. Okay, well the most exciting thing about this is that it works for not only Office 365 applications, but really any other enterprise apps I have added to Azure Active Directory. Maybe it's G Suite, Box, Slack, on-premises applications, it's endless. Well, I hope you found value in this video. I enjoy making them. If you have any questions, please hit me up on LinkedIn or put comments in the video below. If you have ideas for other videos, let me know as well. I'd be happy to make them for you. And uh, by all means, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.